fight night in Vegas tomorrow night. Tyson Fury, the number two ranked heavyweight, makes his ESPN Plus debut. Big time favorite against Tom Schwartz. Fury is fighting for the first time in Vegas in what is expected to be sort of that keep busy fight before next year's rematch with Deontay Wilder and minus 3,000 on the betting line, which is one to 30 odds. And for more on that, let's bring in the inimitable Teddy Atlas, who's been on the show before, but this is his first time since being inducted into the Boxing Hall of Fame. Congrats, my friend. Thank you, Doug. Appreciate it. Big weekend last weekend. We have a big boxing weekend this weekend. So does Schwartz have any chance here? You know, it's hard to say none when we're coming off, you know, Ruiz. Ruiz. Yeah. I mean, you, you want to say none. I'm going to say none. Okay. Because... For me, he's empty in areas you can't be empty. It's kind of like he's got a good record, and he knows how to throw the right punches. It's if you went into a car lot and you saw a shiny car, it looks good. Then you pick up the hood, there's nothing there. There's no engine. I don't think there's an engine in Schwartz. What do I mean by that? I mean character. I think that when push comes to shove, when it comes time to behave like a fighter, I'd rather have a fighter behave like a fighter than fight like a fighter. When it comes time to behave like a fighter, I think he's going to be empty. And I think it's gonna, it's gonna show. The problem here, and you care just about the betting, and how long does it go, who wins? Well, the problem here is that, you know, Mr. Fury is kind of like my grandchild. You know, my grandson, you know how? How? In the way that he plays with his food before he eats it. <laughs> yeah, anyway, and so he likes to show, he likes to do all that kind of stuff. That's gonna drag it out. So for you guys out there, for your views, and that's what you're looking for, that's going to lean towards the over. It is. Over nine and a half, you would think. Only because of that. But if he was a guy who would sit down a little bit, if Fury would sit down and test the waters just a little bit, I'll take the under because I really believe this guy is empty in areas that it matters the most. But you have to go one way or the other. I'm going to go with, he likes to play with his food before he eats it. You know, kind of like the helicopter. Yeah, come on, come, here it comes. <laughs> here, train, maybe. Here it comes. Yeah. <laughs> you have a six foot nine grandson. Interesting. No, just kidding. Yes. But that, that is a great analogy. What? Okay, let's say he takes care of business here. Does Fury? Who would you pick in a, a Fury Wilder matchup? I would have to go. I think Fury fought as well as he could fight, except those two mistakes. Mm -hmm. I don't know that he could fight any better. First match. In the first, first match, yeah. No, we're talking about the rematch. So the first time, he fought as good as he could fight, and. It took almost all night long for Wilder to finally figure out if maybe I throw the right hand straight instead of round, maybe it'll land. I think he's got to figure it out. It's not that hard. Take Wilder in a rematch. So I'm going to go with Wilder in a rematch. It's a draw the first time. All right, Teddy, always uh, appreciate having you here in studio. And again, congratulations, man. Long overdue. Thank you.